Hi everyone, this is RP and apologies for delay. So today we are going to calculate volatility through EWMA, which is exponential weighted moving average. So let's do it. We are going to import some libraries. So pandas, uh, import pandas as PD, import numpy, as np import pandas underscore data reader as web so run this download the data so web dot data reader so we are going to do it for apple for one stock right now uh, i will do it for other stock as well but for that i will show you how we can add and uh, do this calculation for multiple stocks. So let me do it for one stock right now. Data source, which is Yahoo. Before Yahoo had some issue, they upgraded their site. So that's why it was not working, but now they have fixed the problem. So we are able to download the daily closing price of the stock. So N is equal to 12 31st, 2020. Okay, so, and we are going to use as usual, adjusted close price. Let's check the head of the data. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we are going to calculate our daily return and it will be a log return. So we are going to normalize the return three. So np dot log data, we have Apple, denominator remains same. Sorry, it should be small d. Apple dot ship. So, ship one. So, it's going to be a one day return. Let's check again the head. Perfect. Now, the formula for EWMA is variance square, variance of N, which is the next day variance or uh, forecasted variance equal to lambda, which is the decay factor into previous day variance plus one minus lambda into previous day written square. That's why there is N minus one. So this is the formula for EWMA. Now, what we are going to do here is, first we need to calculate the data point. So the length of the data point or the number of uh, rows or whatever you say is, uh, the length is equal to, so we got the length, why we are doing all these things? Because we need to calculate the exponential weighted moving series of lambda because on daily basis, lambda will have or uh, return will have a different weight because standard deviation give the equal weightage to each and every single data point. Why uh, EWM gives the exponential uh, weight so on daily basis, it will decline. On day zero, you will have the maximum point which will allocate to the recent observation. So you can see here on the right side that the series is going uh, in a way that on day one, one minus lambda into lambda raised to power zero. On in, in this particular day, your lambda will be the maximum one. So here, for example, we are going to use 0.94 as a uh, decay factor, which is lambda. So on that day, it will be 6%. So 6% will be allocated or uh, to the recent observation while the other will be exponentially decreased. So on day two, it will be one minus lambda into lambda raised power one and so on till n. So that's why we have calculated this length 
and length of the data point is 254 days. So let's do the other calculation in order to calculate this uh, 1 minus lambda into lambda series. So let's do it. So we have lamb is equal to 0 0.94. And here we are going to calculate a series of data point, which is this 254. So how are we going to do it? Uh, it's going to be np dot a range. Oh, since we have already calculated length here, minus one comma minus one minus one. Okay, it's going to be like this. So let's check what it's actually look like. It's basically, it's going to start from 253, then 252, and so on. Because 254 is also, also including NA. So if I'm going to remove NA from the series, what's going to happen is, I'm going to show you data dot return dot drop NA. Bracket and then length 250, 253. Uh, so, why it happened? Because this is also coming in the calculation. So, if you're going to remove it, it will not be the part of the calculation. So, now what I'm going to do here is uh, what I have done basically here is I have subtracted the actual length, which is 254, with minus one. And the reason for putting this minus one minus one here is uh, one is basically the daily difference should be one. And then it's going to uh, start from reverse order. So uh, the reason for generating the series is because I have a first data point, which is the oldest point, which is like uh, 2019, 12 December. Now, the last or end point is. December 31st, 2020. So this is the latest observation or data point we have. And we are going to allocate the 6% weight to this return instead of the first one. So that's why we have generated a series of uh, a number or data point in reverse order. If we have a data here, for example, uh, 2020, 12, 31st, so what we're going to do is we will just remove and it's going to be like this. So remember this always that if it is basically, uh, okay, so we also have to, okay. And then, so we also have, we always have to remember that if the, that the latest observation is the first one, so we will use our series in this way. And if the latest observation is, is underneath, which is the last one in my case, so we will do, or we will generate basically our series in this way. Perfect. Okay. So now, so I'm going to calculate the exponential series, which is one minus I think I have already assigned lambda here. Uh, yeah, lamb. Into lamb. Okay. Uh, just a sec. Actually, this is also the one of the way. But here I'm going to do np dot power. So. So we are going to apply the power of uh, power on lambda, which we have already we saw in the formula before, and the power will be series multiplied by one minus lambda. Perfect. So let's check. Now, if you see. The last observation is 6% because this is 1 minus 
lambda. That's the first observation we have. Or sorry, you, in other words, you can say the last observation or the first observation, because that's the last point data point we have or the latest data point we have. So we are going to calculate or forecast the volatility for the next day. So let, uh, in our case, let's say first of Jan 2021. Okay, so we got series now. All we are going to do here is we are going to put this in the data series. So let's say data of x p e is equal to x p e. So we have assigned this row or uh, this column or this data point in the data series or the data uh, data frame we have. Now we are going to calculate the product, which is one minus lambda, one minus lambda into lambda power n into written square. So for that, what we are going to do is, we are going to calculate data of x exp into data written square. So let's check the series. Okay, we can also uh, put this series here. We can add one more column, but that's not a big issue. We can uh, assign this calculation or this uh, product under a single variable. So now in order to calculate volatility, what we are going to do is we are going to take the sum and then we will take NP dot square SQRT pro dot sum and let's multiply it with 100. So we have 1.884 volatility for the next day, which is 1st of Jan 2021. So this is the way to, for the calculation of volatility for day one. Now, if we are going to calculate the volatility for multiple stocks, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, I'm going to just data number one, and then let's say Facebook, let's run this. Now, what I'm going to do is for I in data underscore one dot column, Column. So first we are going to calculate the return of I in the same way. So I'm just going to cal copy it and paste it here. And instead of this, it's gonna be return the I and it will remain the same here as well. So I'm just copying and pasting it here. And then what else we need, what we have done here, we are going to generate a series of data points. So we have series of data point, it's gonna be this. And then what we have done here, we have, also calculated exponent. So I'm gonna put it here, exponent. Okay, uh, lambda, I'm going to also assign it here. So we can change whenever we want, or we can use the same lambda, that's not a big issue. Okay, and then we are going to calculate the product. So I'm going to calculate the product here. Okay, so what we have done here is we add this exponential result. So we can do it other way around. Now, what we can do here is we can do np dot 
power of data written this i comma two because we are going we need to take the square of this written into exponent so we have the exponential power here and then this is the same uh, uh, thing what we have done here now in order to calculate the volatility so all i'm going to do is i'm going to put calculate result and i am going to copy this and paste it here so it will be under one calculation now print i comma result let's run this and see oops okay here is my mistake so it's gonna be written of i and yeah so let's do it okay uh there is some mistake actually i have done so it should be one. It should be one. It should be one. And then if there is anything other than okay, this is the point. And because I usually use data, so that's why actually I forgot to for data okay i think yeah i have changed everywhere so let's do it perfect so okay also we can do one more thing here result comma four into 100 and then let's do it uh okay i think i have multiplied it twice because i have already multiplied it here so let me run this and then see the result. So here we have 1.8842, 1.8842, and we have a Facebook uh, number as well. So similarly, we can add uh, whatever stock we want, and in the same way we can calculate the volatility of any stock you want now here is one task for you guys so what i want basically i want you to uh put everything in a function and uh run this for other stock and uh, these two stocks as well because you already have a result here so try it by your own if you are unable to do it just let me know put, put it in the comment section below and i will help you out to write a function the automated function for the calculation of volatility through ewma and uh in the next video what i'm going to do is i'm going to calculate value at risk by using volatility through regular standard method and, well, uh, and value at risk through EWM. And then we will do the comparison that how was the difference of, uh, of uh, what we have, what are the differences we have noticed by, the, by using volatility uh, through a standard deviation or through EWMA. Hope you like the video and hope it's clear for you. If you have any question, any query, whatever you want to know, just uh, put your comments in the comment section below. And please like my video and subscribe my channel. Thanks. Bye.